In this video, we are going to show you how to install a ver2 library, start to finish. Once you have your RAR files downloaded, you will need to open them up. We are doing this on a Mac computer, so we'll use unrar x to perform the operation. If you're on a PC, we recommend an app like WinRAR for this step. Depending on what instrument you've purchased, there will be anywhere from 1 to 10 RAR files to download. For this example, we'll be using Apollo Cinematic Guitars, which has 8 RAR files. Before beginning, you will want to have all parts downloaded and sitting in the same location. Here, we have them on the desktop. The extraction will not work properly if all files are not downloaded and together. Launch your extraction app and add the Part 1 RAR file to begin. You will not need to add any additional parts because the app recognizes the other RAR files present and will cascade open all of them into a single folder automatically. You can see here that we have selected Extract a File Directory, which simply means that the extracted folder will show up in the same location as the RAR files. So for this demonstration, the folder will be created on the desktop. You will need to wait for the extraction to finish completely. If your purchase has many RAR files, it may take a few minutes to complete. In Unrar X, we know when the extraction is done because the words All OK appear at the bottom of the window. Close your extraction app. Many musicians and producers like to hold their libraries on a dedicated sample drive. We recommend keeping your library somewhere easily accessible, so here we'll put Apollo on an external hard drive. This may take a few seconds to move. Now, launch Contact Player in standalone mode. Some Virtu instruments ship with an older version of the Contact Player, but all can be run in the latest version as well, which you can find on Native Instruments' website. If you own a full licensed version of Contact, the following process will be identical. Once Contact Player is open, click Add Library in the Library tab. This will open a window. Use it to navigate to the location where your library is saved. Remember, we just put Apollo on an external drive, so we'll navigate there. Select a library folder, be sure not to select any of its contents, but only the entire library folder, and then select Choose. The final step is activation. Select the Activate button. This will launch the Native Instrument Service Center. If you do not have a Native Instruments account, you will need to create one now. Copy-paste your serial number into the field and select Activate. And now you're ready to get to work. Simply load a patch and have fun. If you have any questions or experience any difficulties, please contact customer support.